And we're back live at Mount Wilson Observatory on the occasion of the transit of Venus 2012, the last one for another 105 years. And it's a beautiful day up here. Couldn't have been better. And we're here with a number of special guests and instruments, mostly their telescopes. But we have one here right now with our guest William Zeitler, a composer and musician who plays this. this. What the heck is that? Tell us about it. This is, it's called a glass harmonica. It was invented by Benjamin Franklin in 1761, which was a transit year. So apparently that was a very good year. And it works on the wet finger around the wine glass idea. So instead of having to go like that. <laughs> so this instrument became very popular in uh, the late 1800s. Even Mozart wrote a couple pieces for it and Beethoven wrote a piece. But around 1810 or so, music was moving out of the small aristocratic halls into large public uh, concert halls. And they just couldn't make this any louder and couldn't be heard, so they pretty much gave up on it. And it's been on the endangered musical instrument list ever since. And how many of these are there now? Uh, there's, there's maybe three or four professional players in the world. Really? And are there any more instruments in the hands of uh, amateurs? There's some in museums, yeah, there's amateurs, there's some that survived from the Franklin era, mostly they're not playable. What happened is the, the, the iron spindle upon which they put all the glasses has sagged over the centuries and now it's all bound up. I say just hang it upside down for a couple of centuries and it'll straighten right out, but. <laughs> and so this maybe is. Maybe by the next transit. Maybe by the next transit, right. they'll be ready. <laughs> and, and it is a very otherworldly, fantastic sound. This works on the same principle as rubbing your finger yes. around a wet, uh, glass, glass yes. but it's quite different. Why does, why, why does it sound so much better? Well, so Franklin saw someone playing a set of water tuned wine glasses, and being Franklin, he wanted to come up with a lazy way of doing this. He wanted to eliminate the water tuning. And by the way, the water tuning also damps the glass so you don't get as good a sound if you have water in it. And he wanted to be able to play more than two at a time, so he would with one hand, three glasses is no problem. I mean, there's five, <clears throat> and um, he wanted it much more compact, so this is 44 glasses. You can imagine if this were goblet style, it would be enormous, so. Yeah, well, it is really extraordinary. Uh, play a few bars of, of something from one of the greats. Well, you have to play, play Mozart on the Mozart piece. He wrote a solo adagio, so here's a little bit of that. It, to me, that is such an incredibly beautiful sound. I hope it comes okay, it comes through okay on the the microphones. But it's just like nothing else I've ever heard. It's just really great. Yeah. And uh, so, it's just in glass harmonica. Glass glass harmonica, but without an H. Without an H, yes. Franklin named it after the Italian word for harmony, which is armonia, and that was in 1761. So the better known. <gasps> harmonica was invented in 1821 so one wonders if maybe they ripped off Franklin's name uh, and and you've dressed uh, for the period uh, maybe it's a little fancier right. yeah. a little suggestive uh -huh. and so I understand no I know that we have a video that is going to be very special to give you a much better feel for what this instrument does but it's a very special piece that you're performing it's, a trans it's called the trans the last transit of Venus that's a music video that I put together for this occasion, so I'm happy to share it with everyone. And this was, uh, it's interesting how this came about, and it's just wonderful, this is almost like fate. John Philip Sousa, the famous march master, wrote a march called the Transit of Venus on the occasion of, I think it was the 1882 march. That would be about right. Yeah, the last one before the uh, 21st century. And, um, and I met William and heard this, and I said, why don't you do the same thing for this one? And here we are. So let's hope there are glass harmonicas so in the future. Glass harmonica instead of marching band. Yes, and it's a little easier to carry up here. 
Uh, let's hope there are still glass harmonicas being played on the next Venus Transit. I certainly hope so. But right now, we are going to go to the world premiere video of a piece called, it was, I think, our, our last, our last, uh, or the last uh, Venus Transit, uh, a video on the occasion of the transit of Venus in 2012.
Those are two fun. The gold bands in the motor. Everybody yeah. applause. <laughs> Thank you. So that was fantastic, William, and, and I hope that's played 105 years from now at the next Venus Me too. Well. <laughs> Thank you. So a world premiere here at Mount Wilson Observatory, a uh, new piece of music. I don't. I think that's a first for this historic observatory, so we're glad to have you. Well, it's about time we start a new tradition. <laughs> and so we've got some questions for you. People were asking also while everyone else was looking at the, uh, at the video, and I know these are common questions for you. One thing is, why, why do you have these uh, gold bands on here? And uh, you know what's the purpose? And is it really gold or what? This is this is actually gold. The gold bands mark the black keys, like on the piano. So you see they're in the two, three, two, three pattern. And it's actually gold leaf on the inside, so you don't rub it off as you play. Mm -hmm. And it's gold because when it gets wet, it doesn't it doesn't rust, it doesn't oxidize, turn color. Just, actually, it's a very practical choice that looks nice too. I think it does. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but <clears throat> there's one thing that puzzles me. Now, you say this was invented by Benjamin Franklin. Yes, sir. Did ben Benjamin Franklin have an early version of an electric no, motor here? No, he had a foot treadle, mm -hmm. so he would treadle, pump the treadle while he played, except during thunderstorms he took a kite up to it. Uh. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. A, a little glass. It's in pa. Uh, yes, exactly. <laughs> Where's our snare drum? Yes. A little glass harmonica humor here. So that, that's terrific. We'd like to hear something else live here. Those of us standing around who didn't get a chance to go over to the monitor and watch you in that world premiere video, uh, we, we'd love you to serenade us a little bit more. Sure, here's another piece. Thank you. It's wonderful. I could listen to this all day. It's fantastic. I hope it comes through on the webcast well. And now, this doesn't just have a history and it isn't just great, but you're a serious uh, composer. You work on uh, movies Film and Film scores, so yes. Uh -huh. And uh, so, so this is something I've actually seen now that I've known about it on some documentaries you've done with filmmaker uh, Martin Roos, who yes. we're going to probably uh, take a, have a talk with. Uh, yeah, he's in Svalbard. Yeah. He's in Svalbard, Norway, the midnight sun watching the Venus transit. And we'll get a chance to talk to the team over there very soon, too. Uh, so I, I hope you get to hear this in, in more films. Some people mentioned, well, it, it, it's a, got sort of a character of a theremin from the old science fiction movies, and maybe a saw when you play the saw and so on, but it's got its own character, and it's uh, really extraordinary. So Thank thanks you. very much for being here. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Terrific. And we're going to take a short break now. When we come back, we've still got some special things to see and do. We're going to take a walk through the telescope field back here behind me. We're going to talk to some of the amateur astronomers, manufacturers about telescopes, and some of the public here taking a look through telescopes for the first time. And it's quite, quite an event to come here and look through a telescope for the first time at something that's so rare they'll never see it again. So we'll be back in a few minutes. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs>